everybody. This video demonstration is to show you how to double mat or to also show you how to create some smaller drawings and how to do like a multi-window. Um, so uh, the, 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 the demonstration will be both on this video. So, so you don't have to watch both of them if you don't want to. Um, so the first one I'm gonna do is gonna be the double matting. And then the second one that I'm gonna do is just gonna be the multi-window. So you can kind of scoot ahead a little bit so you can figure it out. So I'm gonna mat this one. Might look a little familiar because I did this in, in drawing two. Um, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna double mat this one. So I'm gonna go over um, uh, and, and I'm gonna kind of do the math again, you know, to figure out how I can actually double mat this project, okay? So come and follow what I'm gonna do. That sounds really stupid. Okay, so this is the piece again that we're gonna be double matting. Um, so I have this, I need to take my measurements on here in a minute. Um, and I have my scrap sheet of paper. Um, so first thing, if you remember from drawing one, is we need to write down the frame size. Um, and again, this is where you wanna ideally bring a frame in from home because once you double mat this, um, that mat will fit that frame. And sometimes it'll be hard for you to find a frame that has that exact outside measurement. But if you bring something in from home or go to uh, Walmart or go to um, Goodwill and find a frame that you, that you like, you can actually uh, cut a mat that fits that. And then when you get your project back, Everything's already there. You got your mat, you got your frame, you got your artwork, and you're, and you're set to go. Um, but if you need, need to use one of ours, you know that's perfectly fine as well. But um, I just want to really put that plug in that really try to bring in your own frame because then everything is, is set up for it. The frame I'm going to use is the same one I use as a drawing two student. And it's going to be a 12 by 16. Um, so you want to figure out, you know, go back there and figure out what size frame you want to use. Now the art size on this is again, on this one, I don't have artwork going all the way to the outside. Um, and I'm actually gonna crop this a little bit more. Um, so you need to measure you know, the, the area that you wanna, that you wanna keep. Um, and you can uh, re refer back to that drawing two uh, video um, if it's available and you can kind of see how that works again. Um, but I like to use whole numbers. Um, so you know, from here to here, this is about nine inches. Um, I like that measurement. So my artwork is gonna be nine by and we'll say six. Now, if this was a full sheet and I wanted everything to be seen, you know, and this was 12 inches here from this from this side, you have to subtract a half inch um, because you'll, your mat, remember, this can't be the same size as your cutout, your fallout that you have. Otherwise, this will fall out of the, out of the mat as well. You have to go in a quarter inch on this side quarter inch on this side, um, and then you can go ahead and you can write that measurement down. But I don't have to do that on this one because I'm gonna crop off um, everything and I know the area that I wanna see is gonna be a nine by six. Um, so just as a quick drawing, I'm gonna draw this in place. I'm gonna draw this window here and I'm gonna say this is six inches and I'm sorry, this is nine inches and this is six inches. Now a double mat, is where you have a second mat on top of that other one. And typically this strip is right here is your color. Okay? And that's going to be that's going to be your your bottom one. And this top one here is going to be black. Um, and I can just label that black right here. I'm going to write down I'll make this one yellow. Okay? So I know that, you know, I know how this this lines up. Um, the distance between here and here is usually again a quarter inch quarter inch, quarter inch, quarter inch. So I'll have to add, you know, um, stuff onto there so I can, so I can figure that out. So we're going to say, you know, our first mat. And this is going to be the, uh, um, the colored one. So this is going to be your bottom one. Okay. Frame size. This is uh, 16. This is, I'm sorry, 12. This is 16. Um, since this is your colored one, this will have the window that's cut out exactly the size that you want. So this will be a six by nine. Now, I know that this segment here is six. I know this largest one is 12. So 12 minus six is six divided by two is three. So I know I'm gonna have a three inch border on this side. Now I have nine, this segment from here to here is nine. You know, ultimately it's 16. So 16 minus nine is seven. Seven divided by two is gonna be 3.5. So I know from here, so 
So I know from here to here is 3.5, and then from here to there is 3.5, because 3.5 plus 3.5 is 7. 7 plus 9 is 16. Everything lines up. Now your second math. This will be black, and this will be the one on top. Unable to draw a rectangle, apparently. And my eraser sucks. Okay. So 12, 16, and i, I got to figure out what this is going to be. So I know that by looking at this, yellow is, is my bottom one, and I want to see a strip of yellow, which means that this 9 by 6 has to be larger so I can see see this better, okay? Um, so, so it's basically you're adding a half inch because you want to see a quarter on both sides. So this will be 6.5 and this will be 9.5. Because now it's a quarter, you know, all the way around. So 6.5 minus 12 um, is going to be 5.5. 5.5 divided by two um, is 2.75. Okay, let me double check. Yep, so 2.75. So I know that this is 2.75, so two and, a, two and three quarters of an inch. And this is 2.75, same thing. Now this one, 16 minus 19 and a half. I'm sorry, 16 minus nine and a half. Is six and a half. Cause six and a half plus six and a half is 11. I'm sorry. That's not right. Six. No, that's right. Six and a half plus nine and a half is 16. So now I take six and a half, divide that by two, um, and it will be three and a quarter. So I know the distance here is three and a quarter. Now just looking at this, three and a half, I'm subtracting a quarter inch from it, because quarter inch here, quarter inch here. So I could have actually just looked at that and subtracted a quarter inch on all of that, and it would have been a lot easier doing the math. Okay, so now I know my measurements that I need for for my widths of all of this. So I have to go. So now I'm going to go cut my colored uh, the bottom one, and I'm going to color. Um, I'm going to do. I'm going to cut out the black one. Okay. Okay. Now that I got my measurements on here, I have my uh, first uh, mat, which is my colored one. I have those measurements. Uh, second mat, uh, which is going to be my, my top, um, which is going to be my black. Um, so I have the artwork, I got the frame, um, I got my two uh, pieces of mat board, and like I said, I want to cut the, the bottom one first, which is my colored, uh, because that's the one that you're going to see, uh, it's going to restrict you from seeing what's, what's on here. Okay, on here. So just make sure you're kind of aware of that. So first thing, I'm going to uh, slide the camera down so you can uh, see how I cut this. Okay, so as a review, I'm gonna zoom in. This is our straight cut. This is what we use the first time when we wanna get those outside measurements. And in this case, it's gonna be a 12 inch by 16. Uh, this right here is your bevel cut. So remember that is your inside measurements. So I slide this over um, to 16 inches. Lock that in place. I'm gonna, again, first mat, colored bottom is gonna be my first one I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and this is gonna be 16 by 20. Make sure that's in the corner. Push fingers down, hand over top of this, and it'll pull down a little hard at first. And as you get to the end, lighten up a little bit so you don't, you don't snap your fingers and, and hit your fingers against that, that bar. Slide this up, do my 12. And this one is already cut at 12, so that was easy. Slide, now I'm gonna do the inside. So the inside on this one is three inches on this side, um, three and a half here, three here, three and a half here. 
So again, we have to mark that with a pencil or a pen. Let me lift this up, use my ruler on this side, do my three inches first. So I line that up, uh, follow that line across, looks good. Make my mark. This is three and a half right here. And that up just a tad bit. Okay, that should be good. Three again. And then three and a half. So I always want to double check this by holding this over top of this and it looks right. I'm gonna slide it this way and that looks good as well. So now I'm gonna do my, my cuts. So I slide this in, find that line, and then I push it just a little bit more. Make sure it's nice and straight. Remember you have that red and that green. Green means go, red means stop. Line that shelf up where that green dot is at. Drop your blade all the way. Slide down, stop when you hit the red dot, that shelf, pull back up again. And, and then you go around and cut all four sides. Line that up, drop it at green, pull it up at red, line up, and drop at green, pull up at red. And one more cut. Drop it at green, and then pull it up at red. So it should, again, just fall right out. So I have this, that so they fall out over there. Put my project down, and this is where you just double check. You know, make sure it's it's cropped how you want it. Make sure um, everything lines up, and this, is, again, is your bottom your bottom mat. Okay, so this one's good. Set that off to the side. Now my black one is my next one. So. What usually you just remember, those straight cuts go first. Um, this is already at 12. Slide that all the way up. You wanna drop this down, use both hands. Lighten up a little bit at the end there so you don't pinch your fingers. Put this over to 16 inches. Start here. So I have my piece cut out at a 16 by 12. And you can always take this and stack this, you know, with the other one. Um, so you really shouldn't see any, um, any of the map board underneath there. Um, so it should be good. Next is to do your next cut. So remember this window here is gonna be a little on the smaller side because you just wanna see that quarter inch, you know, of color. So this one, we already did the math for it is gonna be a little bit larger. So, so now I'm gonna go in and measure my inside lines. Um, so this is my black piece, so, so second Mac black top. You know, I got that already cut, you know, at the 12 by 16. So now we're gonna do the inside cut. So this measurement, because this is my top and my bottom, it says three and a quarter. So I'm gonna lift this up, get on my ruler right there, three and a quarter and make my line. Turn this all the way around and do three and a quarter on the other side. So this is my top and my bottom. Now the other measurement is two and three, uh, two and three fourths. So two and three fourths is right there. Flip this and then two and three fourths again. So these are my cutter machines. Now, just as a quick check, I should not see those lines in here at all, and I don't. So I know that I've, I'm probably pretty close. I'm not gonna be exact, but I'm probably pretty close. So let's get these cut off and see how, how good or how bad we are. Okay, again, just go in a little bit, slide it up, draw it back green, Pull up at red. Do it again. Third side. And 
and our last one. Okay, should fall right out. Set all the stuff off to the side. Have my R work down. I'm gonna take the first one, which is your colored. Set it over top of it. I'm not gonna taper right now. I'm just making sure it all lines up well. And then this is your double mat. So this is your next one. And actually, let me slide this over so you can see it better. And that's pretty good. So, so again, you just have the small strip of color. Um, that's your double mat. You just want to kind of slide that around so you get it as, as perfect as you can. Um, and if you do notice, if you are a little off on the outside right here, sometimes at this point you can just um, you can just slide this up a little bit, make a new mark, cut that with a straight cutter, uh, or even use a paper cutter, and then you're you're fine. But I want to get these um, taped together so we can finish up the project. And with this one, you're going to have to use double-sided tape, and I'll show you how to use that. So here's my double-sided tape. I'm gonna lift this up. I'm just gonna use two pieces. You don't need to go around the entire thing. This is foam tape, so it'll have a little bit of a gap, which is kind of fun, because it'll give a little bit of a shadow underneath it. Lift this up. Now I want to do my best not to let that touch. Let's see if you can get that as close as possible to where you want it. That's pretty good right there. Once you have it, then you can kind of put some pressure on there and that will hold that in place. Now with your artwork, you'll flip it over um, and you'll use green and blue, green or blue tape because you can, it's a little over low tack tape and get it exactly where you want to have that, that part of the project. Otherwise. Um, that's how you double map. Hello. In this demonstration, I'm going to go over the, um, the double matting project, but this time it's going to be not the double matting, but the other alternate where you might do, do two smaller drawings that's going to be matted in one, um, one frame. So you need to have two windows. So uh, just for demonstration purposes, I printed these two cardinals off, which was an idea from a, a, a stained glass piece. Um, and I'm gonna use this to come up with my, come up with my design. Um, so I'm gonna take the camera in the other room and we'll figure out the, the math, you know, for, uh, for a double window. Thanks. Okay, now I have my scrap sheet of paper here. I have my uh, pen um, so I can draw it out with. I have my artwork. Again, these are just photos um, that I'm gonna be working with. Um, so same thing as, as before. Um, what is your frame size? Again, highly encourage you to come up with your own frame. Um, so then when you get this piece back, it'll already have the frame in there. You get to keep it. Otherwise, we have to take the frame off because it's our frame. Um, so to try to bring your own frame in. This time I'm going to use a 12 by 18 because I'm going to be multiple, multiple pieces. So I want something a little bit bigger um, to kind of be able to play around with. Uh, now in terms of the art, looking at this, again, I'm, I'm, I'm going to actually crop this off a little bit because as you start matting, you... You end up cropping things a lot more. Um, six inches, I think, would be nice. Um, and I am going to actually go four and a half. So I'm going to take a little bit off the side. So art is going to be six by four point five. So so yes, I do have a, a fraction, um, but but four is too small, and then five is too big. So it kind of is what it is. So I'm gonna do my drawing. Doesn't have to be to scale. My drawings on here are definitely more the portrait orientation. Okay, frame, this is 18 inches, and this is 12 inches. So again, these are your lines. Now, artwork, from here to here is six. Okay, so the full segment is 12. This segment, this known one is six. So 12 minus six is six inches. Now I have to divide that up evenly for this space and sit this space. So 
6 divided by 2 is, you know, 3. So 3 plus 3 is 6. 6 plus 6 is 12. So I know that works. Um, now I have this measurement, and this is 4.5, and this is 4.5. So I know 4.5 plus 4.5 is 9. I know the total distance is 18. So 18 minus 9 is 9. So I write that down here. Now this one's a little different because now instead of having like I had before, you know, where I had 1, I have 2, I have an extra space here I need to figure out. And we're going to keep it even. And this one actually works out really well because, you know, 9 divided by 3 evenly is 3. So, so from here... So that's three inches, this is three inches, and this is three inches. So everything I need to measure is three inches. So that makes this really simple to do, okay? Now, if I wanted to, I could actually change this. I could make this four, I could make this four. So then four plus four is eight, and then make this a one inch, because I took an inch from outside. And I could have a smaller strip of, of map board right here, and you might like that look a little better. You know, that's completely up to you. Uh, you know, the math is still is still there to kind of support it. So we got our, our map here. We got our measurements. Let's over go over and cut our map board. Okay, I have my dimensions here. I have my map. I have the artwork I was going to be framing. Um, and then I have the map board that is larger than 12 by 18. Um, so I need to trim this down to size. So I'm going to slide this over to 18 inches. Bring this in. You know, pull down towards that angle. Um, again, this is your straight cutter. Fingers down. Light up a little bit right there. And then 12 inches. So 12 by 18. So whatever yours is, you want to cut that to, to fit. So again, this one's kind of simple because all I have to do is, is just threes all over, kind of all over the place. So I'm going to come in. I'm going to do my outsides first. So I have my three lined up there. 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 I'm lining the line up as best I can. There. Yep, so I'm doing good. Now next is three inches. You actually put in the width of the piece this time. So what I remember is, is four and a half. Now, because my ruler here isn't long enough, I'm actually gonna mark, this is where I need to start my zero at, because this is where my line is at for my three inches. Um, so I'm gonna line this up, so four and a half, and four and a half. Do the same thing on this side. This line that I marked is my zero, so I'm doing four and a half, four and a half. Now your gap should be three inches, and it is. So I know that's, that's correct. So this time I'm just gonna, I think I'm just gonna use my, my ruler on this, because I have my two lines. So I'll hold this up so you can see it a little bit better. So again, this was three, and then I measured from here to here, which is four and a half, which is, um, which is the width you know, of this again, four and a half. And then my gap was three, and then four and a half again. But I did this four and a half and this four and a half, because I could be off a little bit on here, and it's not that big a deal. I'm gonna put an X here, because I know that this is what needs to pop, pop out, because sometimes we accidentally cut the wrong line. So I'm gonna bring this over. Now this is where it gets just a little on the trickier side. I may slide this over so you can probably see a little better. Is I wanna cut this line, leave this alone, cut this line. Because I remember, I'm only cutting the area of the square out that has the X in it. So I'm gonna go over, slide this up. So I'm gonna drop at green, pull up at red, come down. Drop at green, and then pull up at red. Okay. 
crop at green, pull up at red, crop at green, pull up at red. Now I have the inside ones. So with these, I, I can cut this first one. This next one, I can't because your bevel is going to go the wrong direction. Okay. So if that doesn't make sense, you got to talk to me because this is where I would take off points to point where you might get a B on the project because this is, this is important. <laughs> you know, I probably won't give you a B, but you're not going to get a hundred on it and it's not going to look good. And that's, that's kind of the point because your bevel, you got to remember that this is cutting at an angle. And so all your cuts are always going away from the artwork. And right now I'm cutting into the artwork. So I need to leave that one alone. And I'm going to pull this one up here. Now, turn this around and I'm gonna do the next cut. And I probably will actually show you what will happen if you do it wrong. So I'll, I'll ruin this mat just for you. So I'll help you feel special. Okay. So you always wanna cut away from the artwork, not towards it. So this time I'm gonna screw it up. Because this is the art and I'm cutting into it. You don't wanna do that. But I wanna show you what it's gonna look like. Okay, so hopefully you can see the good one and the bad one. Which one is it? Which one's the good one, which is the bad one? This is the good one because my bevel is angled correctly because I can see this white core all the way around. This one I screwed up on so you would see what would happen. This bevel goes the other way. So when I cut this, I cut towards you know, the artwork. So when you see it, it's actually kind of away from it because you can't see it because the black is right there. So this is now ruined. I'd have, I have to redo the entire thing all over again, okay? But I wanted to show you what that looks like. Now, from your artwork standpoint, I'm gonna slide this back over. It's going to fold just this one so you can see this a little bit easier. This is what double matting looks like. You get your artwork in there, get your artwork in there, and everything looks fantastic. And this is where you would have a series. You know, and you, if you get a long, a long frame, you know, longer something I have that might be skinny, you know, you could do like, like three different Marvel characters or four different kind of birds or the Disney characters or anything, you know, and everything is in one spot, you know, or even family portraits. So that's what's really cool about these multi, uh, multi, uh, mat board windows, you know, for your project. So um, again, either do this as a project um, or you can go in and do your double matting. So either way is fine. They're both going to teach you a lot about uh, the matting process um, for you to kind of finish up your artwork. So good luck on this. Get your math right. Let me look it over real quick. Make sure, make sure it's, it's correct. Um, and then you can go ahead and, and do this next step. So good luck on that. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you very much.